My name is Martin Holton. I recently was admitted to ICU and placed on a ventilator due to COVID. While in ICU 6, three of my primary nurses were Laurel T, Mary G, and Taylor I. I'm not a panicky person. In fact, I tend to be more of a daredevil. However, while on the ventilator, I suffered panic attacks due to feeling like I couldn't breathe. The nurses would lay across my chest or held my hand and talk to me as needed. They called me by Mark and not Mr. Knowlton and told me they were right there and that I was okay. They said they knew it was scary, but I was breathing and my stats were getting better. And if I could just calm down, <laughs> it would be okay. They worked with me each time. I distinctly remember three. I don't know what I could have done, but I was definitely thrashing and tugging on the restraints. They never mocked me or seemed frustrated by my panic. Instead, they just stayed with me and walked me through it. By the time I got off the ventilator, I was able to control that panic myself, even with room changes or being moved for chest x-rays. Each one seems so vested in my care and well-being. I know how losing a patient affects you. So to hear them use my first name and to feel them hold my hand to comfort me, I knew what they were risking emotionally on my behalf. I know that they were really busy since they had nothing to do but lay there. I was able to watch them moving from room to room. Day and night, they were constantly in motion. But each day, I took time to FaceTime my wife and let me see her and my daughter. For all I knew, each call might have been the last time I would see. Sorry. For all I knew, each call might have been the last time I would ever see them. In addition to FaceTime, they called my wife to update her each time I made progress. Sometimes that was multiple times a day. They also kept me informed of how I was doing. They were so patient as I tried to communicate with <laughs> just my hands. There were so many people involved in my care in ICU. And although I can't remember their names to include in this letter, I thank them all. I owe them my life. And that isn't an exaggeration. My determination was only going to take me so far, and it took me to ICU-6. They got me back on my feet. I know with staff shortages, it's really hard to leave your family and take care of someone else's. But I can only be thankful that they worked that day and or night and talked me off the ledge. Thank you, ICU-6, and all the Hillcrest staff. I have Thanksgiving with my family and friends that I would not have otherwise been able to do without you and your care.